It is Sunday, September 26th. I'm gonna try and make these vlogs a little shorter so that way I can condense down some of the things that we're doing and keep it to just the interesting stuff. So plan for today, lots of household chores. I have to get set up to make soap. I need these oils to melt. All right, what, what did you say? Ass head. <laughs> I keep on saying the H. You gotta say the H, buddy. Ash, ash head. Not head. Not. <laughs> Can you try one more time? Ash. 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 Maybe you should call him Grayhead instead. And also, this is Sluthead. Okay, thank you, buddy. Here's a little sneaky peek of something I'm working on. So excited to be able to tell y'all what this is. <sighs> so, the first night of production week is done. The first soap for the fall collection is done. Probably the most complicated one, so I'm really glad that it's out of the way. Oh my god, two and a half hours. Two and a half hours to pour that soap. I'm dying. Uh, I can guarantee that that video has gone up already by the time this goes up. Eight layers across two slabs. Whew. I'm exhausted. So I'm gonna catch my breath. Um, we're gonna kind of finish cleaning up and then it is absolutely bedtime for me. See you tomorrow. So it's Monday the 27th and these are all the packages ready to go out today. Um, I've not had the chance to run to the post office and it is also production night wherein I've had to make a whole bunch of lye and I'm probably gonna have to make some more oils. <laughs> so busy, so busy. Oh, production week. Why you gotta be like this? This is my little artiste. <laughs> Learning how to use my drawing tablet in Photoshop. Look at you, buddy. What are you working on? A wet stone. It's looking good. Here, can I show the other one? All right, well, here's one. That's really fat. That one's a chunky one? Yeah. He's thick? Yeah. All right, here's the other one. Yeah. He's small like a baby. Yeah, a baby destroyer safe. <laughs> oh, and then we got the big one. Yeah. Nice. That's right. That's, right. that's a version of the, the destroyer. Uh huh. What is it? Uh huh. The nice. Doing, right. Doing good, bud. Good job. So, wait, bed, what is it? Yeah. Whoa, buddy. Wow, that's so cool. What's going on in all this? Can you tell me about it? Well, that is for this royal. That's this royal whistle. The big one? Yeah. All those are this royal whistle in the middle. Uh huh. It's the this royal whistle. Those are this royal whistle minions. Oh, I see. Wow, that's so cool, love. You're doing so good. Good job. Are you having a good time? Yeah. Good. It's Tuesday, September 28th, and we are still heavy in production week. What are you working on there, Kat? Carrot and beds for let them eat cake. Nice. Haven't checked in much because there hasn't really been much to check in on. It's just been nose to the grindstone <laughs> with everything, which is sort of the nature of production week. So we're about to film cutting some soaps from last night. I'm going to make a soap tonight. And yeah, I got a whole bunch of video editing done. There wasn't really much to show on that. And I got to hang out with him while he uh, learned to use my drawing tablet. So that was fun. I'm gonna go make soap now. Okay, bye. It is Wednesday, September 29th, and I have gotten a lot done today. <laughs> I got today's video finished up. I had most of the editing done last night. So it was just sort of final bits and bobs here for today. I got some drawings done, so we'll have some new drawings in the intro, or um, have some new drawings in the intermission cards. Here they are, cute. I don't know if maybe we should make a sticker out of those. I think they're cute, I don't know. We'll see, I fall into that same pattern of like making stickers out of everything because I like it. So sue me. <laughs> I got, uh, let's see, six packages all ready to go. So six orders ready to go out today. Um, hmm. <laughs> Tired. 
Um, so I am going to go downstairs and go have something to eat. Probably watch uh, Bailey J's new vlog from last week that I somehow missed. I don't know how I missed that. And then I'll probably take a shower, see what else I need to get done. Mm. Some chores around the house that probably need to get finished. I was hoping to try and make some soap today, but I don't think I'm going to have the time because most of what I need to work on is going to be the big project, which I need more titanium dioxide for it. I ordered a new 10 pound bucket of titanium dioxide, but it's not even shipped yet. So I don't know when that's going to be here. <sighs> not a huge problem though. Um, getting working on the big project well in advance. So we have plenty of time to get it done. So no worries there. Then everything else that I need to get done is all going to be pride soaps. And those take a significant amount of time with all those stripes. So I think I have, what all do I need to make more of? Um, I know we're out of the agender flag. We're low on asexual. We're low on non-binary. Could probably stand to make some more pan. Um, getting low on lollipop guild for the Dorothy series. And I have not remade just regular pride in forever. I don't know. I know we've had at least one request to do it because people like Black Riders by Vanilla. Same. I get it. <laughs> so I might need to do some more of that soon. Otherwise, I think we're looking pretty good. Those are going to be the major ones. Let's get some more of those done. Um, but they're, they're such huge time commitments. Like, I love doing them. I think they're great. And I'm so glad that we have them. But they do take up a lot of time. So, but yeah, going to get working on that. Maybe tonight. We'll see. I don't know. I kind of don't want to make dinner tonight. Maybe I'll just order in. I, I've been really trying to not do that as much as possible, but like I'm tired and I've got a lot to do and I really just need to get some of those pride soaps knocked out. <sighs> yeah, I need to go eat and then I'll, I'll worry about the rest of it later. And we'll be right back. All right, shower accomplished. Lunch has been eaten, vlog has been watched. I'm trying to decide what to do with the rest of today, <laughs> or at least the rest of this next hour or so that I have available to me. Let me close the laptop so you don't have heck a thing. Uh, reflection, that's the word. So the new video just went up, the sweater weather video, sweater weather video just went up a little bit ago. So that's good. I've answered a few comments and done that. Um, Probably pretty close to the point being able to take the dishes out of the dishwasher. We have a new laundry mountain uh, forming. So that's fun. So not a lot of time before I have to go pick M up. Less than an hour. Really probably closer to 45 minutes so I have time to walk because I don't really want to drive. The car I have available to me right now is the one where the mechanism inside the driver's side door for the window has decided to cease working, of course. So there's <laughs> the window fell down inside the door and I can't get it back out. And I was scared it was going to rain. So the other night Kat and I went out, it was like 1130 at night and put plastic and tape over the whole of the window <laughs> to keep the car, the inside of the car from getting all wet. So what I should do right now is I should go call our mechanic and ask if he can get the part in and uh, let me know how much it would be to replace it because I really need a functioning window before the winter sets in and we have rain, lots and lots of rain. So maybe I'll go make that phone call and then I might just play Stardew Valley for a few minutes because I'm not gonna have a ton of time. Just drink some coffee and empty the dishwasher. I'm pretty much settled on, I don't wanna cook tonight. If I do cook anything, it's gonna be like spaghetti because I have a huge bag of leftover uh, spaghetti sauce that I made a few weeks back and I just I'm not feeling like cooking. Kat and I have to go to Winco and go get some more olive oil because I used up every single drop of the olive oil we had in the house to make the most recent master batch. I, I need a better option for olive oil. It sucks. Like I can't find a, a price that beats out Winco's price. And we've tried several times to do a bulk order with Winco and they just never call us. So I don't know if it just never arrives or what the deal is. <sighs> it's 
so annoying. <laughs> Uh, and I know a few people have mentioned going down to, like, a restaurant supply store. The closest one is, like, a 30-minute drive from where we live. And I'm not even sure that they would have it as they don't have a listing on their site for what all they have. And I hate calling people. Like, I know it doesn't make a lot of sense because my corporate job is a call center. So, like, I spend all day talking to people. But, like, I don't like calling people. I really don't. I don't like being on the phone if I can help it. <laughs> I do everything digital if I can help it. Like, and please, if any anybody ever sees us in person, we would love to chat with you. You're special. You're different. <laughs> Just don't like talking on the phone. <sighs> yeah, I'm gonna go do that. I'm gonna go make that phone call I need to make and see about what the situation would be with that. And then I gotta go pick up the kiddo come back, get cat. We'll go pick up the older kiddos. Kiddos want to go to the park today. I think the weather is going to be at the point that we can. So maybe we'll let them go and play at the park for a little bit after school. Yeah. Things to do. All right. Check in later. Whew. All right. It is Thursday, September 30th, the last day of the month. Production week is basically done. All of the soaps for the October release for Fall Vibes are poured. We just have to, ooh, so much glare, so much floofy hair. My hair is so floofy today. What is this? Who are you? <laughs> so all of Fall Vibes are poured and done. We just need to cut one last soap and then we are completely done cutting everything. We'll be done with filming. I still need to do a bunch of Pride soaps, but I realized Need more titanium, so I'll get what I done. Can I'll get what I can done this weekend if I'm able to do anything. But mostly, I think I'm going to be video editing. Uh, the most videos I can get edited this weekend, the better. <sighs> okay, so I'm gonna go make dinner. Well, I got Mr. Man down here playing with some soap dough. What you making, bud? Stop. You forgot. I just want to use blue soap. Dough. Oh, blue. Well, we'll see. Right now I gotta make dinner, okay? We're making a white bean tomato stew with feta and garlic toast tonight. Should be super yummy. Ooh, so it's looking pretty good. There is the toasted squares. Uh, I decided last minute to add some cauliflower because, yeah, it just it seemed like maybe not enough food. And it's all vegetable, no, no meat. Um, and I didn't have extra beans. I thought maybe I had some extra pinto beans, but they're chili beans. So maybe I'll have to make chili soon. <laughs> I do love chili. Um, but yeah, looking pretty good. Do wish I had more protein with more beans, but more veggies are always good. How are you doing? Committing murder. Committing murder? What kind of murder? Fly murder. Fly murder. <laughs> Kat and David have killed collectively like over 30 flies. Oh, there's one over there on the ceiling. Murder spree, murder spree, murder, murder spree. Ha <laughs> ha! Dead motherfucker. <laughs> Where did all these freaking flies come from? The kid. What sort of. Oh, there's one following you. Oh, oh, he's running away. He seeks death. Little guy, like your brethren. <laughs> I get it. Sometimes the kids leave the door open, but not like 50 flies worth of the door open. Like, ridiculous. Mystified, you're really gonna die. <laughs> what? <laughs> So we are just about to finish up filming the last, last bit of filming for production week. So close. <laughs> you ready to be done with production week, Kat? Yes. Me too. So, yeah. Uh, otherwise, it has been an eventful evening amongst the fly death. We also went down to Target and got together some stuff for a, what, what would you call it? A, a survival box? A goodie box. A goodie box. A goodie box for your boy Alex, one of our moderators, uh, and he is just moved into his new place, and we're gonna send him a goodie box as a 
housewarming gift, as it were. So that'll be fun. Gonna get that all put together probably tomorrow. Uh, but yeah, gonna film and then hang out and go to bed. See you the tomorrow. It's Friday, October 1st, and the vestiges of launch week, I think, are hitting, well, a combination of launch week and production week are hitting Kat and I pretty hard. We're both pretty exhausted. And then I spent the last 10 minutes being a fly assassin. Why are there so many of them? Why? Offensive, frankly. I, I don't get it. The best we can figure is that maybe when the new floors were being installed, because there was a lot of like in and out and the doors being left open all the time, that maybe like a fly came in and laid eggs somewhere. And now they're all hatching because we have killed so many. So many, and I don't understand why. Like, Kat and David killed, I don't know, like 50 or 60 of them yesterday? I've killed like another dozen just now? I, mm, mm, annoying. I, I, I can't figure out where they're coming from. I'll murder you, flies. What do you mean I left you un... What, what do you mean you did something to the outside? You left me unsupervised. I left you unsupervised and you did something to the- Oh. <laughs> <laughs> There's still a whole side left to this. So oh. <laughs> oh my goodness. Cat has started to do webbing. Nice. <laughs> oh, there's more. <laughs> Nice. <laughs> Good job. <laughs> that is what happens when Raven leaves me unsupervised. You decorate for Halloween? Yes. <laughs> this time. This time? That sounds like a threat. What do you mean this time? And then the day after Halloween, I put Santa hats on everything. <laughs> okay. All right. And then it's Christmas decorations. <laughs> <laughs> the easiest Christmas decorations ever. Yes. You're going to need so many Santa hats. <laughs> All right. I need to get little needle attachments for little pump, air pump thingies so I can blow up the glow in the dark eyes that I'm going to put in the bushes. Glow in the dark eyes? Oh my God. <laughs> I'm going to put them in the bushes. Okay. The webbing's glow in the dark. Is it really? Yes. That's cool. <laughs> That's awesome. Good job. I need help with the, the big spider web. Uh-huh. Because I can't reach to hang it up. Oh. That's why I didn't do the other side yet, so there's a gap to get back in there. Okay. <laughs> All right. Well, maybe, uh, I don't know about today. We'll see, because I'm still, I'm video editing right now. But uh... This is Halloween. This is Halloween. 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 <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> well. <laughs> It's uh, Saturday, October 2nd, last day of the vlog. Uh, that clip earlier was from this morning. <laughs> Dealing with the stupid flies. They seem to finally be petering out. I, I'm so confused by the presence of these dang flies. Like, I really don't get it. Where did they all come from? <laughs> ah! <sighs> Whatever. I spent most of this morning either in bed or lying on the couch, not feeling particularly well. I think it's sort of launch week and production week being one right out of the other, kind of catching up to me. And I was just exhausted. So I ended up taking the day off from my corporate job. Let me close this for a second. I didn't want to glare from the laptop. <clears throat> and then otherwise, um, at one of Allie's little friends from school is here for a sleepover and for movie night. We watched the new Adams Family movie, which was all right. Not as good as the first one. I thought the first one was a lot better, but it was still fun. And they are watching another movie in their room. I've pretty much been video editing off and on all day. And I put a new video up on TikTok a couple days ago, just kind of talking about this further trend Ah, oh, God, this light is kind of awful. Hold on. That's better. So I've been noticing this trend, which we dealt with a couple years ago, oh, no, almost a couple years ago. It would have been January, February of 2020 
when we had a TikTok go viral <laughs> and uh, it pissed off a bunch of people. So that was fun. Copyright. I can hear you, but I won't. But I've been seeing it happen a lot to other creators too that make pride flag stuff and folks coming into their comments and just generally being unpleasant about demanding, you have to make straight pride stuff too. <laughs> and like, straight pride as a movement is directly, directly a negative response to LGBT pride. It's, it's shitty. It's shitty, okay? Like, it's not the same thing as being a straight ally. It is going to a queer space and trying to make it about you. It's so frustrating. It drives me nuts. And we had to deal with that really heavily. And fully disclosure, I did not handle it well at all. I was very frustrated. I probably made some comments back that I shouldn't have. It was like a lot of homophobia being, or a lot of, all right. I don't know if homophobia is the right word, like queer phobia. I don't know. It was a lot of it all at once. And it was really damaging for my mental health. I struggled a lot. I kind of had to take a huge step away from TikTok for a long time because TikTok can be super toxic. But I made a video. I'll, I'll post, I'll put it here so you can see it. <laughs> hey, what you doing? Oh, uh, making pride stuff. Making pride stuff. stuff? Yeah, yeah. Make straight pride. Uh, no. No, don't think that I will. Uh, making queer pride stuff. Ha, <laughs> ha, see, no, you have to, though. You have to. Otherwise, you'll be a bad business owner. <gasps> a bad business owner? Me? Oh, of course. Hold on. Whew, okay. Here you go. See, I knew. I knew. This is an empty box. Oh. Oh, I'm sorry. Hold on. Try this one. Is this... Yeah, go fuck yourself. There you go. So, that's what I did. Um, I don't expect it to get a ton of traction, but I made it because I was seeing a lot of other creators having to deal with the same bullshit that we had to deal with when we posted about our pride soaps. Just, uh, it's, it's so frustrating. And like within 12 hours, I was already getting bullshit comments already, but I feel like I was better prepared to deal with it this time, which was nice. I am trying to post some more on TikTok and I think that's maybe we're finally maybe not shadow banned. I don't know. For a while there, anytime we posted anything on TikTok, we'd get like 100 views. And we have way more followers on TikTok than we do here. So it was always very confusing. Uh, it's, it's why I tend to prefer to post to YouTube because the community we have here is so much better. <laughs> like, no hate to anybody that follows us on TikTok. But like, TikTok can be really stupid toxic. It just, oof. Ooh, it can be bad. So we have a much better community here at, on YouTube. But um, it is important as a business to be posting on different social media platforms. And TikTok's a big one right now. And I have several videos scheduled to go up on TikTok so that they're just done. I don't have to think about it. And they're just ready to go. They do increase sales. Just going to be honest. Like, it does increase sales, which is great. I don't know if I can say 100% that the sales boost we've had the last 24 hours is related to TikTok. It seems likely, but I can't say for sure. Um, tracking is not always super great. <sighs> but, uh, yeah, I mean, we've had like six orders today, which on a Saturday to have six this far after launch is unusual. So I have to assume it's TikTok. But I'm going to keep posting some more short videos, just older bits of clips from videos that have already gone up on YouTube. Oh, uh, it's my birthday tomorrow. I have mixed feelings about birthday. Uh, no need to say happy birthday. It's okay. I'm, I'm kind of weird about my birthday. It's not that I have a problem with getting older or anything. I'm like, I'm not a big fan of being the center of attention. It kind of makes me uncomfortable. <laughs> um, and there's a certain amount of like residual 
trauma response with my birthday. Uh, it has nothing to do with my friends or my family. They're all lovely, wonderful people, and I'm so glad to have them in my life. It's a previous person that's no longer in my life that made my birthday kind of god-awful. So I'm trying to be better about that. <laughs> but I'm turning 34! It's weird. I feel like if you got a hold of me at like 19, 18, and were like, this is where you're going to be with your life, I would have been mind blown. Completely mind blown. <laughs> but yeah, uh, I think I might try and get some more video editing done tonight while I can. I, I have next week's video basically done. I think I'd like to do another little sort of fall themed drawing because the last ones I thought were really cute. And then I think that video for Wednesday, which we don't have a name for the soap still, <laughs> that'll be ready to go. Um, but yeah, I'm just going to get some work done for the rest of the night and uh, maybe sleep in tomorrow since it's my birthday, but I'll probably be making breakfast. <laughs> All right. So thanks again for hanging out with us this week. Sorry, it's kind of a shorter vlog. It's just kind of the nature of production week where every free moment is production and filming for production and editing for production videos. And I'm, I'm beat. Like it's been a long week. <sighs> Hope you're doing well. Go have some water, go have a snack. See you next week.